Imagine, if you will, the birth of a child who will change the world. Once upon a time, an angel appeared to a man named Joseph in a dream to tell him that his fiance Mary was going to have a baby. Mary's going to have a baby. A gift from God. Months later, Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem, Joseph's ancestral home to regis register for taxes. Hi, how can I help you? You're here to register for your taxes? Hang on, let me check out the local code. Jill, she's on the town council. That's right, dear. Hello, how can I help you? You're here to register for your taxes? I don't know anything about that. Go see Sharon, she's our town clerk. Heidi ho, neighbor. How can I help you? Sharon's out. You're here to register your taxes? Oh, you need to see Cornell, the town manager. Bye. Hi, can I help you? You say you're here to register for your taxes? Oh, you should see Sharon. She's our town clerk. Hold on a second. Heidi ho, neighbor. How can I help you? Sharon's out. You're here to register your taxes? Oh, you need to see Cornell, the town manager. Bye. Hello. Oh, you're back again. Hmm, maybe we should take this up the lap. Hold on. I have the pleasure of speaking. Joe and Mary, and you want to register for taxes in Bar Harbor? You should really call my friend Nina. She'll straighten it right out for you. Hello. Hello, this is Nina. Yes, register for taxes. No problem. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure we get it on our next town council agenda. Yes, bye. After traveling a long way, Mary got really tired and it was about time for her baby to be born. So Joseph and Mary want to find a place to sleep for the night. Coach, stop. Uh, hold on for just a second so I can take my mask off. Hi, Brent. Where's you and Anna? Are you looking for a room? I'm so sorry. We're all full. We don't have any rooms. But you might try the Salt Air Inn. They're on into town down by the waterfront. Matt and Christy, good folk. They'll probably have a room. Good luck. And we're also pulling out of those Hershey chocolates that everybody loves. Why don't you go down to the Bar Harbor Inn and see if my friend Jeremy can help you out. Hi, can we sleep here and stay here? You want a place to stay? Oh man, I'm sorry, we're so full. I have a friend that has a stable though. Okay. Alas, there is no room for them in any of the inns, and believe me, they tried. <laughs> so Mary and Joseph went to the stable and settled in for the night. Come on in! Is that a 
our horses, Mary and Moses. You got plenty of room. Glad to have you. Warm and safe, nestled in love, sheltered from the cold wind. Mary gives birth to a son. They call him Jesus. And they wrap him up tight and lay him in a manger. One by one, the animals stop by to see what is going on and welcome this precious new baby. <laughs> and there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill to all. As the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in the manger. ones from the east saw a star rising and wondered what it meant. Where did it lead? Who would be there? What did it mean? Um, twinkle, little star, how wonderful it's you are. One up above, world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. They followed its light and came to King Herod in Judea. He told them to follow it more and tell them where it led. The bright star leads to a baby, you say. 
to a place that quite possibly is out of the way. Go there and find them. Get close and get near. Give me some info and bring it back here. Not you, Max, Max, get back here. But something about him disturbed them, they thought. The way that he looked at the presents they had brought. Wasn't his looks, he's remarkably green. But his insincere smirk face and the fact that he's mean. His heart was diminished, which means that it's small. To bring him the info was no good at all. You can at least leave me some frankincense. I mean, what's a baby going to do with frankincense? They followed the star until it shone over the stable in Bethlehem, where they met the child Jesus. This unlikely gathering, human and beast, humble and proud, young and old, Jewish and Gentile, became the family of God, all brought together by the birth of the Christ child. It was true then, and it's still true today, when we watch for the star, when we listen for the songs of angels, when we seek the light of truth, and when we remember Jesus' birth. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. And little Lord Jesus, asleep on the hay.